It's autumn. Autumn is the third out of four seasons on Earth. It is defined as the transition from summer to winter. This season also can be called as falls. And it is about big changes in nature and environment. Autumn means a lot of fun and outdoors activities. It brings different colors to the people's life. During this time, temperatures will start to drop. Daylight times will become shorter to prepare for the winter solstice. And trees will begin to shed their leaves. Animals starting preparation for cold months and plants stop making food, everything in the nature slowly starting to fall asleep. Autumn is a season of change. The air feels cooler, the days shorten, and life begins to slow down. But, seasonal change in the natural world is a magical thing. There is so much to see and discover as we transition into winter. The vibrant artistic colors are the ultimate symbol and signifier of autumn. With the end of summer, our deciduous trees withdraw nutrients from their leaves. Then chlorophyll breaks down, revealing other colors in the leaf. As temperatures drop, the leaf's connection to the branch breaks, and the leaf dies. Autumn winds then sweep the leaves from the trees, ready for winter. Aspen, beech, dogwood, field maple, silver birch, rowan, and hawthorn are all native trees that boast stunning colors in autumn. Beech and birch forests are particularly stunning at this time of year. Go for a walk in the woods to get the most out of these beautiful displays. Many shrubs and trees share fruit and berries in autumn to spread seeds in time for winter frosts. Wildlife, such as the migrant birds, eat their bounty and disperse their seeds far and wide. Gelder rose, wafering tree, and rowans provide bright bunches of red berries. Crab apple trees feature yellow slash green fruits that ripen in autumn. You may have noticed an abundance of acorns this autumn. Acorns are fruit from oak trees and contain a single seed. They start falling in September and October. Temperatures become cooler, in some regions, you should be ready even, for hurricanes. And, autumn season is mostly rainfalls. But of course, the main sign of fall is, when leaves start to change their color, and everything automatically becomes more, magnificent and beautiful. Plants throwing their seeds, on the ground, or wind. And also some animals can eat them, or take for preparation, for the winter period. Also, the moon is brighter in this period of year, and also some new stars can be visible. The harvest moon happens around the autumn equinox. Its bright moonlight helped farmers harvest crops before there was electricity. Autumn is the season of crops and harvest. For farmers, this is one of the most important times of the year. Traditionally, in the Northern Hemisphere, the autumn months are the time of the harvest season. Meaning that, with the end of the warmer weather crops are ready to be harvested. This includes 
foods such as apples, pears, corn, pumpkins, and other different crops. Because the first frost can come suddenly, and all the efforts to growing them will be in vain. Historically, autumn was a crucial point of the year, as the volume and quality of crops produced would feed whole communities. The autumn months have always been seen as a period of transition and have been celebrated with rituals and festivals since ancient times. In autumn, the weather cooled down. This is why it is called sweater weather. Throughout this unique season, autumn hosts significant celebrations. This includes Halloween, All Hallows Day, Bonfire Night, Thanksgiving, Michaelma, and more. A medieval tradition inspired trick or treating. People would dress up in spooky costumes and do fun performance for treats. Scarecrow have been used for thousands of years to protect crops. Autumn can bring the first frost. This is when water in the air settles across the ground and freezes. A frosty morning gives us a glimpse of how pretty the upcoming winter weather will be. In fact, usually, the first thing that comes to mind when thinking about autumn is the red-brown leaves falling from the trees and piling up on the pavements. There are specific types of trees that lose their leaves in autumn, these are called deciduous trees. Examples of deciduous trees include oak trees, maple tree, and beech trees. There are some trees that do not lose their leaves during the autumn or winter. These are called coniferous trees. Examples of coniferous trees include pine, cedar tree, and spruce trees. Trees lose their leaves in autumn because the amount of natural light they can get from the sun is reduced. And, this causes, the leaves on the trees to lose chlorophyll. A pigment present, in all plants, that is crucial for, photosynthesis. This causes, the leaves on the trees, to turn orange, yellow, or brown. Resulting in, a vibrant color change from, the green leaves seen in the spring and summer. Leaves will also begin to fall from trees as they eventually die. And the tree will become dormant for the winter and wait for the increased heat and light of spring before the leaves begin to grow again. Take a closer look at the dark green ivy trailing over trees garden walls and old buildings and you'll see little clumps of yellow green flowers ivy is one of the few plants to flower in the autumn so it's very important for pollinators like bees and butterflies that are still active at this time on a warm sunny autumn day you'll see 
lots of insects buzzing around it, feasting on the nectar. In autumn, we will also see, the migration of birds. They migrate, because, cold weather means, no seeds, or insects for them to eat. This means, that birds, who wouldn't survive living in cooler climates, migrate to a warmer location, for the winter months. Birds, usually choose, autumn to migrate. So, typically, you can expect, to see large flocks of birds, such as ducks, or geese, flying in the sky. Keep looking, as there are, some amazing flying displays, to be witnessed. Autumn is also, a crucial time for some animals, as this is the beginning of, the hibernation season. Other animals, will start to grow thicker coats, to keep them warm, during the colder weather. During this time, animals such as hedgehogs, bats, bears, skunks, chipmunks, dormice, and, squirrels will eat lots of foods and begin to gather food, and make nests to keep them safe, for during the cooler climates. Newts, frogs, and toads, often hibernate under logs, stones, piles of leaves, or compost heaps. Reptiles, seek out a hibernaculum to spend winter, in brumation. Bees are, busy in the fall. They need to make and store enough honey, for winter. Monarch butterflies, will migrate from the United States to Mexico, in autumn. This is the season, that red deer begin to breed. If you live close to a nature reserve, you may be able to see young deer, with their mothers, as the autumn and winter progress. You will notice, the amount of spider webs, in your garden more than ever before. As the morning dew, and frost glisten on them, as they hang between bushes, walls, and other foliage. Owls, hoot louder in the fall, while searching for a place, to nest during winter. Another interesting thing, that happens only in autumn is, murmurations of starlings. As winter draws near, they get in big groups, with thousands or even more birds, and swinging together. As one they move, in a complex ballet dance, sweeping, gathering, bursting, and stretching, into lava lamp shapes. Photos, and videos, simply cannot do this phenomenon justice. Experiencing a murmuration is, definitely one for the nature life list. When squirrels are, hiding nuts for winter, their brains get bigger. This helps them, remember where they hide, their food. All the hidden nuts, that squirrels can't find, help forests regrow. In autumn, bodies of water, start to cool down. Fish can start exploring areas of water, that were too warm, all summer. The weather in autumn, gets colder, and, usually windy. The hours, of daylight, and the hours of the night, are the same, and, then gradually the nights are longer, and the days shorter. The weather is, characterized as being disruptive, and changing frequently. For example, it could be warm, and sunny in some places. But, there is also, the possibility of rain, and, early snow, in others. Damp weather, provides ideal conditions, for fungi to grow, so, autumn is, when many species thrive. They come in, an amazing range of colors, and, 
some very peculiar shapes. Even, more weird are, the names from Amethyst Deceiver, to Dead Man's Fingers. And, Lemon Disco to Bearded Tooth, these fabulous fungi, really capture the imagination. In many parts of the world, autumn is, the most popular season of the year. People love to see the leaves change in color, and, the cool weather. It is very pleasant to us, to look at this amazing gold, red, yellow, and, others. So, go outdoors and, enjoy this amazing time, feel autumn vibes, everywhere. Autumn is, a wonderful season to enjoy the outdoors, with its perfect weather, and, beautiful scenery. Autumn is also, a great time to visit pumpkin farms, and, apple orchards. The ground is, full of natural materials, to create some natural masterpieces with. The forest floor is, filled with brightly colored fallen leaves. Twigs, seeds, and, conkers. So, grab a few bits to get crafty, with on those rainy days. Autumn is, the perfect time for kids, to enjoy the wonders, of nature. The crisp, autumn air. Colorful crunchy leaves. Listen to leaves crunch, beneath your feet, and, get swept away, in all that this season. And, weird and, wonderful fungi, mean, it's an exciting season, to go out, and, explore all that the natural world, has to offer. While, some people might, also enjoy camping trips, during the summer season. The fall, when leaves are altering their color, and, the air is, a bit cold, is debatably the best time, to get out in nature. A campfire, can be best enjoyed during this time, with friends and family. We use pumpkins to celebrate autumn. Many people love to eat, pumpkin pie. Visit pumpkin patches. Carve pumpkins. And, smell pumpkin spice scents. As you know, Northern Hemisphere is, a part of the Earth, that is located north to equator. Here autumn comes on, the 1st of September, and ends on, 30th of November. Southern Hemisphere, located is, south part of Earth, to equator. Seasons here are, opposite to Northern Hemisphere seasons. Autumn begins on, the 1st of March, and finishes, at 31st of May. This is, because of, the Earth's position, relative to the Sun. People, who live the equator, don't have, an autumn season. The temperature stays, almost the same, all year. Coming of autumn, to every country, and town is, a significant event. That is why, there are a lot of celebrations, and holidays, regarding to greet this beautiful, and significant time, of the year. Autumn in, traditional holidays countries of the world. Jihad and Huertos. It is very famous and, important holiday for people. People painting their faces, making parades, and wearing special clothes. Diwali. It is also called Festival of Lights. People making great fireworks. Light thousands of lamps, and also cleaning their houses not only from old things, but also, from negative emotions. Feel this incredible spread of, the fest in the air. Thanksgiving. 
that is celebrated in the USA, is a time for remembering pleasant things, and, blessings, that happen during the year. In this day, families always get together, and, having meals with traditional foods. Autumn season is, significant both for nature, and, people's life. It is the best time to get together, with your families. Remember past times and, enjoy everything around you. Because, the nature is very beautiful, in this time of year. This season reveals, a completely different side of nature. Everyone enjoys the pleasant weather, throughout this season. This pleasing season, gives people an array of hope, as it tells that even though the leaves fall, new ones will eventually, replace them. Thanks for watching. See you on next video.